couple of years ago, I had what's called repetitive strain injury in both my wrists. And the way that happened was I was using the computer eight, nine hours a day, and I could no longer use the mouse. And I was using a regular mouse um, that you move around like that with, with your uh, right hand, which in my case is the, uh, the dominant hand. And so what I started doing was then I started using the left hand and then after a while I couldn't use both hands anymore and I had to use a speech recognition software which was called uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking. And I also used a infrared eye tracker where there's a little dot on your head and you mo move the dot wherever your, your head moves it picks it up on the screen and then I used my feet to uh, use as a mouse. So I literally had no use of my hands. And so that's when I started really, really getting into, you know, figuring out what, the, what am I going to do because without using my hands and it's, it's really difficult and it's painful. And the doctor was saying, well, maybe you have to start thinking about surgery for your wrist for the repetitive strain injury. And that, there's no way I wanted to do that. So I did some research and I did request a physical therapist. And what ended up helping me completely get rid of it, even though I continued to work eight, nine hours a day behind a computer, was to use these exercises that only take one minute, uh, maybe one minute per hand to do. And I want to show you how, uh, what I do, and it, I only do about once a day, maybe, maybe uh, twice a day if it's a really busy week and I'm on the computer constantly. And the other thing I also did was I got a roller mouse, which really helped a lot, although I still use a regular old mouse as well. So that's not the main um, reason. The main reason this got fixed without using surgery, without any you know, big expensive products or therapies, was using these simple exercises. And I'm going to show you how that works right now. So I start with my uh, right hand, and I go like this. So. I do this 10 seconds, so make sure your arm is uh, horizontal and this is down and you can also pull on it a little bit with your hand, uh, but again, you know, don't force anything, just go like that for 10 seconds, one, and then all I do is move that in, just move that, make your hand into a ball into a fist and then uh, move that in. Again, just 10 seconds. And then 10 seconds moving the, your hand into your, into your face. And again, I'm, I'm looking at it, so what you can do too is, is um, have your, while your, your main body is uh, pointed this way, you move your head Face your head uh, towards the, the ball of the fist. Also 10 seconds. And then I move the, my head the opposite direction. And then I hold my arm out again horizontal with just the, uh, the hand going down. Also 10 seconds. Okay, and I do the same thing with the other end, with the other arm. So, there you go. Look at it. Or you can go the other direction. You know, it's, it gives your, your neck a good stretch. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, looking at it with the fist pointing at me and moving up. And then 10 seconds, pointing, uh, moving your hand forward or inward. And then 10 seconds the opposite direction with your your head and the arm is uh, holding loose like this pointing down your face your uh, your hand is pointing down and your face is pointing away from the arm okay so now I've done this part and now the next part in the next part I take these two your two hands and you go like that so it becomes like, a, again, horizontal for your arms, but then your hands are being pushed like this. Again, don't force it. And the other thing you want to do is, whenever you do this, just breathe, you know, really uh, mindfully. 
and just breathe um, from your belly, we're sorry, in a relaxed way. And try not to uh, make the shoulders too tight. And then the next 10 seconds you uh, kind of look like a namaste uh, yoga position. So uh, great stretches. And then the next 10 seconds you put that like that. You put your hands above your head and make sure your arms align with your uh, sh with your shoulders so they're not going like that but just you know like this show you this position so that's 10 seconds and then you move the just move the hands away from your head and make sure your head's uh, still straight and upright another 10 seconds so your hands are now putting, pointing directly um, behind you. This is the last uh, position where you move forward, you bend forward, and you move your hands up, and your, your uh, arms are behind you. Again, just 10 seconds. But you're bending down as far as you can, or willing to go, and then your head forward. So that also creates a uh, pretty good stretch in your neck. So anyway, that's it. That's all I do. So it's about two minutes, if that. And just make sure you're relaxed, your breathing is relaxed, and um, just count to about 10 seconds or two or three breaths per position. And that should really, really help you. I'd really love to know if that helped you as well, and just write it in the uh, comments. And if I uh, learn anything new, I'll be sure to update the description. That's all I do to get rid of my repetitive strain injury. And it doesn't injure anymore. And if it does get a little bit tense, I do it again. I just do one or two exercises a day. So you're looking at a total investment of maybe two minutes, four minutes a day. You know, if, you, if it's really bad, do it three times a day. In a couple weeks, you should know, notice a difference. So let me know.